Damon Somerset at the Progressive Automotive X Prize here with Dave Champion, the Director of Automotive Testing for Consumer Reports. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. What uh, What is uh, Consumer Reports doing with the X Prize? We're running a number of tests looking at the safety of the vehicles. And at Consumer Reports, the safety of cars on the road is paramount to us. And also fuel economy, so it dovetails both of our interests together. What kind of tests are we talking about? We're doing acceleration, braking, we're doing emergency handling, how easy a uh, vehicle can avoid a crash. Yeah. We're also doing the skid pad, another look at the, the actual uh, grip and safety of vehicles on the road. Are the tests that we're running here at XPRIZE the same as uh, you would run on any automobile? We do over 50 different tests at the Consumer Reports on every car that we test. And these are just a selection of the safety tests that we do. So it's really the, the most important ones, the you know, braking and emergency handling, mm -hmm. that's really important to safety. Acceleration, how easy you can sort of merge onto a freeway and get up to speed because you need to be you know, doing battle with all the other cars on the road. Mm -hmm. And then also we're doing 40 to 65 acceleration. If you pull out to overtake something, how quickly does it take to get past? What do you think about the performance of the vehicles in the tests, uh, considering that they're not kind of traditional vehicles? Well, these are very different vehicles from what we're normally seeing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're, they're still in the development stage. So most of the parameters that we've set for these vehicles are sort of some of the slowest vehicles that we've seen in our testing. Mm -hmm. Sort of the avoidance maneuver, it's how easy, you know, a big pickup truck can get through. That was the target speed that we, that we looked at to do these testing and, and give them a, an idea of where cars are in real life. And looking at these cars, you know, vehicle weight is very important to them, so many of them are very light, and they've done an awful lot of work to get the fuel economy and the emissions done. Sometimes the handling and the brakes have <laughs> right. taken sort of like a back seat in many cases. Right. So we've seen one or two cars that have been, you know, a little difficult to get through the avoidance maneuver, a little difficult to get the actual braking distance mm -hmm. done right. So, in many ways, this is a learning curve for them mm -hmm. uh, as much as it is, you know, a safety parameter. Um, I'm sure many of these vehicles we will see derivations of in the future. Right. Maybe not next year, maybe not in five years, but sometime in the future, we need to do something about fuel economy and these vehicles are like a first step forward. You mentioned battery packs being mm -hmm. heavy. That's obviously a problem in a lot of these cars. Um, you know, the battery packs mm -hmm. weigh a lot. Um, what do you think about the effect that it's been having on their handling? In some cases, it's actually helping the handling because it keeps the weight low down. Mm. So it makes them sort of relatively stable. But on some of the cars, the battery packs are all at the back of the vehicle. Right. So when you're going through to try and avoid something, you're swerving backwards and forwards, you've got all that weight moving around back there. Right. Uh, this isn't, isn't sort of particularly new but it's something that they need to work on in terms of the suspension setups and things like that. When we did the, the shakedown uh, a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these vehicles were all over the place. Right. Today, they've tied them down much better. They've got much better rear suspension. They're still a little bit tail happy, but they're pretty good. Right. Check out the website for streaming video, live telemetry updates directly from the cars, and you can see other video blogs that I've been doing.